the next speaker is uh, sri cp narayanan thank you i don't want to repeat the points which uh, my earlier speakers have mentioned that uh, both upa and nda alternatively have tried for almost two decades to bring in this uh, legislation and and second point is that uh, the states have got a lot of concerns which uh, our learned uh, adnk member has said very vividly not only they all other states have got different kinds of concerns because this is a ma major shift from one system of taxation to another where the producer states were had a big say in the earlier system of vat now it is having the consumer states will have some benefit that is what is being told but in the discussion when when, when i was listening to my colleagues lot of preparations have been done that is uh, what uh, all others have mentioned true as far as the producers organizations are concerned as far as traders organization are concerned as far as the uh, center and states are concerned are concerned lot of consideration uh, whether it is sufficient or not i don't want to go into details but whether we have done such consultations with the large section of population like peasants workers and other sections whether we have told them what it is all about how it is going to affect them i think very little has been done they do not know the average people they do, and their organizations do not know what exactly in in what way they are going to be totally affected in various areas so this has to be taken care of there is a and in this context i would say a news item which was referred to earlier in this house was regarding gst gst network regarding that they have got the control over the data regarding the gst and they are not prepared to share it with the, even the cag that was the report i do not i do not know whether it is correct or not and i think that uh, i hope that the government will settle the matter but this is a pointer as far well as the goods and services tax taxes re regime is concerned that is what i believe here the private sector particularly the private sector which handle data they are going to have a big say in matters and they will have they will be trying to control have their control over various things which perhaps the government or the opposition or the parliament members have not thought of or even the officials have not thought of this we have to be concerned about because when we have got new era of information and storage of data are concerned this uh, the people who have got the key to such data they can do havoc or they can do much uh, help also both are possible this is the, uh, it is this fact that has been brought out by this report so we have to take, uh, take a lot of care about these things uh, another thing i have to say is that when we speak about uh, taxation generally we speak of three uh, products one is petroleum products second is tobacco and its products third is pharmaceuticals these are kept out of the pale that is what many of the my earlier speakers have mentioned now petroleum products see the importance of that has been borne out in the last two years to what extent taxation on petroleum and pet petroleum products can bring more income to the uh, exchequer and also in in what way it can affect the people it has been well proved in the last two years 2005 uh, 2015 and 2016 now similar thing may be possible in the case of tobacco also i have been following this field where tobacco major two products are 
one uh, cigarettes and the second are, uh, is BD. Now this is, uh, these are used by two sections of the population. One better off people, the other ordinary people. In BD is prepared also by very poor people. And lakhs of people are depend on BD for their life. Now in taxing BD, I, I have been reading that there is a big move to equalize the price of cigarette and BD. That is a BD may come to cost about two or three rupees, just like a cigarette. There has been a, a, such an attempt by the cigarette lobby. The government has to take care about that. And so uh, in order to protect the lives of lakhs of BD workers and uh, the people who collect and do leaves. And another thing I have to mention is, is regarding the, uh, in this context, uh, what I have to mention is the, for the last 40 years from the 42nd amendment, constitutional amendment onwards, there has been a continuous concentration of power at the center, whether it be in education or health or decentralization or in taxation, every, in every field, what we have been finding is that there is a centralization of power. Whether GST also, because all these taxes have been brought together and all these have been brought together under the control of a general a GST council. Now, where the center does not have a veto power, well and good, but that council when certain uh, grouping of uh, states where a particular party has got control over those states, then that party can decide what kind of taxes have to be uh, introduced, what has to be collected, at what rates and all that. So there I agree with uh, uh, my learned friend Derek O'Brien when he has said that the, it has to be reported to the Parliament and Parliament should have the final say on it. Otherwise, what will happen will be, it will become a private affair of the rich people. This has to be uh, uh, prevented. And so, in, in these, uh, I think I, some certain uh, amendments have been moved by my colleagues. I, I hope that will be considered. Thank you. Thank you.